Okay. We got the Mario Rabbids thing to Collector's Edition. It's really dark. I, I did orange this time, so it's not blown out, but I, I think we should change that. I don't know. I'm not going to do it now, but yeah. Uh, it's the Mario Cross Rabbids strategy game. RTS. Yeah, strategy. It's weird. It's, you, you got like a little rabbit. It's cosplaying as Mario. It's really just cosplay. In fact, um, on the bottom we just have the Ubisoft logo and it says Ubisoft Collectibles. So Ubisoft probably pushed this. Um, it's rated E10, which we'll get to when we get to the back. On the top it just says Mario plus Rabbit Kingdom Battles Collectors Edition. On this side we have Mario shooting his trademark uh, a bullet bill laser gun, and that's a rabbit dressed as Yoshi. And on this side, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cosplay. And on this side, we have a regular Yoshi shooting his trademark gun, Luigi, and a rabbit cosplaying as Peach taking a selfie. That bothers me. It's really gross. I don't hate it. It's it's fine. I think I have the right emotion. It's not it's not like negatively gross. It's like when you get slimed at Nickelodeon's Kids Choice Award. Like it's gross because it's slime and it's only your hair, but like it's a celebration. You're meant to. So it's fine. On the back, we have what's in the box. We have 6 inch Mario statue. Well, 6 inch rabbit cosplaying as Mario. The game, which I believe is physical, and that might, it says limited edition game. It might be like a um, limited edition cover. Maybe it's reversible. Who knows? A soundtrack, which, man, I like my soundtracks, but I'm not mm, about this one. And a bunch of trading cards. How many? 12. 12. I can't see it on the recording, so you guys probably can't see it. I can, like, get closer, but it's just gonna get really dark. Um, pictures of gameplay, and this stuff down here. It says it's E10 for comic violence, cartoon violence, comic mischief, and mild language? Wait a minute. What constitutes as mild language? Who knows? It's also made in Snowdrop and Havoc. Snow Havoc is just a physics engine, like most games use that since the PS2. Um, Snowdrop, I think, is Ubisoft's proprietary engine. It's used for like Assassin's Creed and stuff. Um, and it's two players. It's a two-player co-op RTS. I don't know if there's competitive, actually. But maybe the game box will say. I got scissors this time. Don't run scissors. Don't. Don't do this. Oh, oh, I, I, I can't do it on camera without like damaging the box. But yeah, don't bender it. I say without damaging the box. I think I just damaged the box a little. And actually, this cover is a slip. So, because I think this is part of a mural. A mural. A mural. Oh, let's see. Let's hope I'm cutting this right. There we go. This is at the bottom as well. Bums. Ooh, bums. Bums, bums. So this is just small enough for me to have to do it on my table. Maybe I should have done it on the floor anyways, though. Maybe. Maybe. I was having trouble getting this all into frame. Slide that out without damaging any of this because I'm going to keep it. And come on. Yeah. So I think this is the second collectible edition, collecto collector's edition I have for the Switch. The first one being Sonic. I'm looking over. I don't see anything else, so. Yeah, unless I get... No, 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 there's nothing else right now. 
Um, still can't see, because that's all the same. Got Mario. How's the mule continues? Oh, look, there's a close-up of Luigi. Well, a rabbit's cosplaying as Luigi. There's regular Peach shooting her trademark shark gun. And over here we have Yoshi. His gun cuts off. Like, like you should... That should be perfectly visible. That cuts off. That down there is not even either. Yeah, because it's, it's like a seam. There's a sticker here. Oh, it's an Ubisoft sticker. I guess like Ubisoft's seal of approval. <laughs> or whatever. Alright. Um, I cut that one already by accident. Oh, I cut it both. Oh, no, 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 I see. Alright. Open this. Not making too much noise. Although my desk is like freaking out. I actually think I should probably be doing it like this. Alright. So we got the game. Let's, let's see. Oh, it won 2007 Best of Game Critics Award winner E3 and IGN's Best Strategy Game of E3. Of E3? Yeah. So it's already Best Strategy Game of the Year. Eat your heart out, XCOM 2. Let me open this up. Um, includes Pixel Pack, 8 unique weapons. So. I guess because I had to pre-order this, I get DLC. Ain't that something. Where are my scissors? Fuck it, that should be fine. Oh yeah, what is that supposed to be? There's like, an Abel Snow Yeti, or Yeti, an Abel Snow Rabbit. I didn't notice that on the front. It says over 50 E3 awards. Maybe that's the limited edition cover. Just all these awards and shits. Um, oh look, DLC. See, there's the code. Steal it if you want. I'll probably just use this before this video goes out. And we got a switch cart. No reversible cover though, so whatever's limited edition about this case is whatever. Discover modern combat adventures built exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. Look, XCOM 1 made it to the Vita. It was very shit, but it made it to the Vita. I'm confident XCOM 2 can somehow get ported to the Switch. All right. Uh, it's a Switch card, so we gotta lick it to see if it tastes like it. Yeah. It tastes slightly different than the other ones. Oh well. Yeah, it still tastes like bitterant. It's no manual, as always. They have tabs. What's the point of this if there's no... Well, I guess it helped the DLC. Where is that? It's up here. Let's put that back in its case. Um, soundtrack. No jewel case. Um, I'm sure there's a disc in here, but I'm not gonna... I can't listen to it because my disc drive isn't in. I'll probably listen to it on my Sega Saturn. Or my Xbox. I can... I had Xbox original. I just remembered. God damn it. I don't need... I don't need special hardware to listen to CDs. Like I do with DVDs. So you need that thing. There's no track list though, so... Composed by Grant Kirkhold. So there you go. Considering that's a Western name, I imagine. At least, I think Ubisoft just developed this whole thing, and N Nintendo was like, "Yeah, go ahead, man." Trading cards, you know. All my friends are opening up Magic packs and Yu-Gi-Oh. I think sometimes Pokemon, but me, I got, I got Mario Rabbids. I wonder if every collect collector's edition has like a different set of cards, like. It wouldn't be a trading card set if you couldn't, but at the same time, it'd still be very limited. Alright, we got... We got Luigi... Back. Oh, he's a scout, apparently. They have classes with weapons and techniques. Stilly stare. Itchy feet. Double jump. See, what's the point? See, it'd be better if these were amiibo cards and you can use them in-game to, like, get those... Special... 
I don't know. I feel like they missed out on a lot. And like, what do you do? do you, is there a game you can play? There's no rules. God damn it. We got Mario. He's up. We're gonna go through all... How many are in here? 21. He's a fighter with the blaster. Hero sight. And stomp jump. Great. Princess Peach. Paladin. Boom shot. Grenade duck. That kind of sounds cool. Royal gaze. And healing jump. Well, that's Peach. Rabbit Luigi is a wizard. What? It's got the warb. Rocket. Super barrier. And vamp dash. Wizard. Mario Rabbit is a brawler. Rabbit Peach is a healer. Wait, what was regular Peach? A paladin. Interesting. She is taking her trademark selfie. Rabbit Yoshi. Uh, I was gonna say, we didn't even get regular Yoshi. A Boom Boomer. Interesting. A Triple Dash. I can see that being use useful in an RTS. And regular Yoshi. An Exploder. And then we got these silver cards that are like stuck together. Like pages in a Playboy. We got Bowser Jr. Lava Pit Mid Boss. Interesting. Bounce Super Effect, Burn Super Effect. Okay. Bowser Jr. Doesn't he have like seven kids and they all have different names? Phantom. Okay, it's a rabbit. Spooky Trails Boss. It's like a fat Beethoven. Parabbit Plant. That's This one actually looks cool. Ancient Gardens mid boss. It looks like something out of Plants vs. Zombies. And Rabbit Kong! That's what it is. It's the rabbit cosplaying as Donkey Kong, but it's like a perfect fusion. Ancient Gardens boss. Yeah. He's a cool. That's that's cool too. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, I gotta put these cards somewhere. Cause God damn it, this, I'm not putting them back in that plastic thing, cause that's not what you do with cards. Um, I don't know. Take them to a card shop and see if they're worth anything. Or not. Put that next to my limited edition mirror. Remember that? Remember that game? No? Alright. Take that out. There, somewhere we can get it back, because we're gonna have to put the plastic back in the box. I'm gonna keep that just in case. Wow, I'm having trouble with this one. That's Indiana Jones I'm singing, right? I don't think I've seen a single Indiana Jones movie. At least not all the way. Oh, there's tape at the bottom. You tricky devils. Ooh, you're a heavy boy. Alright. Here's the statue. Ooh. Ooh. I broke it. Yay. No. Um. Base is made of plastic, but it looks fancy. Uh, I don't know what type of, I guess, clay. I think the paint hides the feeling, but like, it's nice. It's fucking weighty, which I kind of like. Bit of a shoddy paint job. In a couple of places, actually. I don't know if that's something you, I don't know if that, how easy that is to notice, but like, especially on camera. Like, you can kind of see it even through the blur. Maybe if I... Maybe it'll autofocus if I get close. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. The red got there. And then... Right there, there's white where it should be black. It's nice. Fucking... Bleedy little eyes. Yep. Uh... Where am I gonna put this? 
Probably next to Sonic. Most likely. That's it. How long was this one? 15 minutes. We're doing good. We're doing good on this. On these. Uh, I don't know when I'll play the game. Probably the weekend, because like I got things to do during the week. And like, as an RTS, and I imagine it has some sort of story. Uh, it's gonna take me like an hour. But yeah. Yeah. It's pretty... I gotta say, this rabbit Mario looks more Italian than Mario Mario. I don't know what it is. I, I, maybe his mustache is different. Maybe it's like the back of his head. Or that he's not wearing a shirt with his overalls. Or like the squinty eyes, which might be a bit racist. That's weird. He's got, he got like painted lips. Alright. 